Signs and wonders confirm the truths that we speak. They did for Jesus, they did for the apostles, they do for us. It's not a guarantee that people will accept what you say. The Pharisees didn't accept what Jesus said. The religious rulers of Israel didn't accept what Paul and Peter said, even though they saw the signs. But I believe that miraculous signs and the power of the Holy Spirit infilling our lives, anointing our words when we speak, and actually resulting in miracles and healings when we pray for people is a part of what Jesus intends to follow his believers. That's what he said in Mark chapter 16. These signs will follow those who believe. He didn't say that to 12. He said that to over 500 people who were with him at that time. And he said it to us, these signs will follow those who believe. Why? Because they're intended to confirm your testimony. There's two things that I can think of that make the difference. One is love, and the second one is power. And the power was released in the disciples' life in the early church because they went to the Lord desperately and they asked for it.